Okay, so when you see something like this, z minus z0 equals to z minus z1, both in a modulus, we know that this is a perpendicular bisector loci. But this over here is not a perpendicular bisector loci, but instead it's an equation for a circle. Now let's say we have an example, z plus 1 in a modulus equals to 2, z minus 1. So first we'll convert z into x plus i, y. So this would become x plus 1 plus i, y. We bring together the real part x plus 1. And over here this would be x minus 1 plus i, y. And then if we take the modulus, this would be x plus 1 whole squared plus y squared in a modulus equals to 2 x minus 1 whole squared plus y squared in a modulus. And now to remove the under root Sorry, in an under root, yeah. And now to remove the under root, we square the both sides, so we are left with x plus 1 whole squared plus y whole squared equals to 4 x minus 1 whole squared plus 4 y squared. So, when you expand this, this would become x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared equals to 4x squared plus 1, hang on a second, not 1, minus 2x plus 1, and then plus 4y squared. And then when you bring everything together, this would be 3x squared minus 10x plus 3y squared plus 3 equals to 0. Now what you need to do here is, you need to complete squares first on x and then on y. I'm not going to complete squares here, but once you complete squares, this would become 3x minus 5 over 3 squared plus 3y squared equals to 25 over 3 minus 3. You take 3 common, you you take it to the other side, and this becomes x minus 5 over 3 plus square, whole thing squared, and then y squared equals to 1 upon 3 of 16 over 3. Now, y squared means that this is simply... plus y plus 0 squared. So the center of the circle is going to be 5 over 3 comma oh, 0 and the radius is going to be 4 over 3. Now the standard equation of the circle is x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equals to r squared. This means that 16 over 9 equals to r squared, so radius is 4 upon 3. And whatever the uh, values with the uh, whatever the signs, you flip the signs to get your center of the circle. That's 5, five upon 3, uh, comma 0. 
Now if you want to convert this into the equation of a circle, this would be z minus Five minus five over three plus zero i equals to four upon three. So this is uh, how you differentiate between whether uh, the equation is a perpendicular bisector or if it's a circle. If it's a circle, you need to find the uh, equation of the circle, basically the center and uh, the radius before, uh, so you can sketch it. So, um, so this was a one tiny uh, bit of complex numbers that was left, and now we are done with complex numbers.